Welcome back to more Costume Quest 2 Electric Boogaloo. I'm TBG Hunter, and last time we made our way back home after a little portal traveling, only to find out that it... Our kindly, kindly dental hygienist decided to take over the world and make it a d utopia, well, dystopia, without candy and stuff. In this video, I'm going to provoke an alligator by smacking with my pail. Because that seems like the smart thing to do. Anyways, we also met up with Everett and Lucy's future selves, who told us about coming here to stop him by finding a family of witches. And what do you know, we may have found witches already. So, let me go see what the, these two are up to. Maybe they can help us. Witches? Did we find the witches? No, false alarm. These are standard human children. They do not have the talisman we seek. You're looking for the witches too, huh? Well, that's too bad for you. Why do you say this, human child? If you're looking for the witches, then that means you're in our way. Huh. Do you think you can deter us? We are shards of chronoculus. We are everywhere. Eh, they weren't kidding. We cannot be stopped. Looks like I'm gonna have to get my hands dirty yet again! Superhero powers activate! Also, candy corn! Yes, candy corn is an actual costume being used in battles in this game. It's hilarious, but also at the same time, really really bad. Candy Corn is basically Pokey from Earthbound in this game. It does nothing, it's just there to be a tanky wall so that you can survive most battles. I think enemies focus on Candy Corn more than they do your main character. I don't know if Future Me throw that up if you can find it. But for now we're gonna do a flying fist attack against these crony combatants. Managed to hit it right on the ball with an amazing Candy Corn just remembered, he's late for a meeting. Block that for 6 attack. He's going for Candy Corn this time. Block it, and... Huh, that was actually... It didn't show up the damage amount. That's odd. Whatever. Candy Corn knows his limitations. And that limitation is not having arms. Smack you. There we go. Crony Combat is now done for. Candy Corn has your back. Because it can't do anything else. And, yeah, enemies seem to be focusing on Candy Corn more than they do the than Ren. Got a noise. Very good. Candy Corn takes a pass. Almost looks like it said Candy Corn takes a piss right there. That would have been weird. Alright, super ability should be filled up and we'll use it just to finish off this enemy. Or not. We can just save it for the next fight. Victory! I could use some water. Now, we could go over here. This water is actually... Really, really cool looking. I love the design of like the water fountains in this game. Uh, this is basically to save and to heal. You can actually also eat candy that you have in your uh, candy pails. To... Randall, what are you doing? To heal up at the cost of, well, your currency. Because, again, candy is currency in this game. But for now, let's just head on and continue on. And Hey, y'all! Don't just stand there holding your pails! Help me! Whoa, what are you doing with that gator? Some of my girls got loose, and I thought I would be funny to rip up my costume on Halloween! That looks dangerous. Why don't you just let her have it? I worked all week on my costume. I'm not about to let these gators ruin my night. Look around and see if you can find any other pieces. I got this one handled. And hurry up before Gertie gets all bitey in on my arms. 
Well, you know, your arms are like two, two inches wide. I think you'll have plenty of time to retract them. But just smack everything in sight so we can just max out as much candy as we can. Even though it gives us like one to two pieces of candy. However, this thing right here, which is new, are candy piñatas. Beat the ever-living crap out of them for lots and lots of candy. I think it gives up to five pieces of candy from smacking it, and then like ten pieces that fall f to the ground. Because already we have 130 pieces of candy. Got a bush right here. Too bad we can't actually do anything about it. Who knows? Maybe there's a costume that will help us get rid of these leaves. But for now, something I want to show off. Probably the greatest addition to this game is not available yet. We're just going to have to wait. Also, there's a, there is a gator with a clown nose over there. Make of that as what you will. Oh, there it is. Left trigger for the wheelie boost. Yes. All the costumes in this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have the skate boost. Not limited to the robot costume. Gonna do the smart thing and beat the crap out of this gator because, of course, it wouldn't try to eat me. Nothing over here, so let's just skate over here. But I love the addition that the... Also, rainbow afro gator for the win. I love the fact that you can skate with every costume. It makes things... 80 bajillion times better. Smack you for your candy. Smack you for your rainbow afro. Amazing. Got a costume, got a squeaky horn. So I think you got an idea of what exactly this co new costume is going to be. After all, we got like a rainbow afro, we got a squeaky horn, we got a red nose. Or foam ball, I guess. How the hell was that staying on a gator? I don't know. Was it just doing a balancing act? It was terrified of the candy corn. You found your costume pieces, I think. There's an alligator drool on some of it. My clown costume! Halloween is saved! Your Halloween is save, but Halloween in the future is doomed. What you mean? It's a long story, but we're here to save it. We just need to find a coven of witches guarding a talisman somewhere around here. You mean them bog witches? I can show you where they are. We gotta rustle up a boat. So, we got this new friend. Why don't we have a look? Uh, which one was it? Uh... That's, that's things, that's that. I guess it'll show us to switch off later. I think it actually does at like... Yeah, up by the gator over here. Okay, Monty. Get your gator out of the way. That's not one of mine. I ain't going near her. Well, how do you move a gator? You can try using my squeaky horn. They really hate the sound of this thing. Okay, let me try that clown costume. You know, you can't just hand over the horn and just let Ren do it. Just walk up to him and go, and just have it go off. No, you gotta trade entire costumes as well. And I guess while we're on the costume screen, I guess we can show off the new function that costumes have. Each costume has a focus and has a strong and weak against. The candy corn has a, also has a bunch of like stats. Like, Candy Corn has a lot of health, but no attack, so that's why it's got negative 10. And its focus is inaction. So basically, it's just a wall that soak up damage. It's strong against monsters and weak against magic, which is weird because it does no attack, so who knows? Superhero Costume is focuses on powerful attacks. That's 5% health increase and a 5% damage increase. So, it's kind of if-if. The clown costume is the healer. Its focus is on healing, of course. 10 damage and, well, 10 to health, but no damage increase. And it's strong against magic, but weak against monster type enemies. As well as the superhero is strong against magic, but weak against technological enemies like robots and stuff, which we won't be seeing for a long time. As well, we can use the D-pad to switch off characters of who you'd like, but for now we're going to switch over to our clown costume. And, ha-ha! Uh -huh. <laughs> look at her go! Looking for witches, huh? You gonna need a boat? Dang! You look cadaverous! 
I'm a skeleton kid. Get over it. You got a boat? Sure do. I'll take you right to them. For a price. Keep talking. I came here for candy, but these human grown-ups are stingy. They just scream and slam the door in my face. I need you to fill my pail with candy and bring it back to me. Trick or treat at every house and bring me m the mother load. Then we can talk about going to the bog to see those witches. You want us to trick or treat, huh? I think we can manage that. I don't know why, but that smile with the clown costume was absolutely hilarious. I mean a ton! So much candy that you are embarrassed to be seen with it. Which is weird because on Halloween, it's never embarrassing to see be seen with a ton of candy. It's actually encouraged. I'll wait for you at the dock in town. Alright. Just honk for the audience. So yes, main focus, costume quest is for, well, to trick or treat all the houses. And also there's kids out about with costumes. I'm a candy fierce I'm candy's fiercest predator. It oh he's a hammerhead. I didn't notice that. Wow, nice costumes, guys. Thanks, you too. Oh, this isn't a costume. I have to wear this to straighten my teeth. Alright. Well way better way to start than all the way over here. So now unlike most things houses, which maybe we'll see right here. Yep, enemies can actually hide inside the houses and they'll ambush you, but you have to trick-or-treat at all the houses to progress. So, for this first fight, if I'm gonna show off a new uh, costume and such, also this is absolutely terrifying. It's absolutely terrifying. I love the, f the male version of the superhero costume. It sort of looks like... I don't know. He looks like the, like, generic superhero guy they have, like, in GTA 5 and all that stuff for the Grand Theft Auto series. But for now, let's focus on a bounce attack, because... Actually, no, no, we can't do anything, because the bounce attack's actually weak against this, so I might as well show the damage reduction. Sadly, the Crony Combatant has a lot of health, so we're gonna have to do a lot of saving up. Focusing on Candy Corn. Now, a good trick to do this for fights, to get like max use of your super abilities, they carry over with characters, so since I had the superhero costume with Ren from that last fight and it super was charged, and since I switched over to the clown costume, I can use the clown super ability real well, right off the bat. It's a good way to maximize usefulness, you just gotta remember who has a full super ability. I won't use it right now, but I will show it off in this fight. For now, we're just going to continue bouncing on this guy. Or girl, or whatever the heck this thing's supposed to be. Candy corn is something or other. Just going to fly up and punch that thing in the face. And Reynolds taking a bit of a beating. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Fun, 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 fun. And I want to shoot since Candy corn has a point. And that point is, it's in a lot of pain. I'm not going to do the flying fist attacks full because I want to show off the clown costume. Because Reynold is about to go down real fast. So, let's show off the clown costume's special ability. Laughter is the best medicine. Ah ha 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 he slipped on a banana. Ah, that's terrifying. And that heals everyone. Candy corn is angrier. Alright, let's just finish you off by punching you in the face. Yeah, that doesn't get annoying at all. And hey, we level up. And now, because I know the masses is probably going to demand it, and I know for a fact it's also going to be hilarious if we actually do get candy dressed up as a candy corn at this house over here, I'm going to show off the next house with this. Any, like, random encounters or random house fights, I'm just going to skip to the end because I doubt people are just going to want me seeing, uh, mixing it up. Unless, like, something peculiar happens or, uh, something goes haywire and 
my reaction will probably be me freaking the hell out. I think that's probably the best bet since this is technically an RPG. Hey, do you collect creepy, creepy treat cards? Most specifically, do you have a ghost munch card you could trade me? There's a bubble bar card in it for you if you do. Not on me. Well, I'll let you know if we find one though. Thanks. I had one, but I dropped it in the swamp and a gator ate it. Now, I bet guess it's a good time to do it. Do we ever get any creepy tree cards? No, we did not. Oh, wait, maybe. Yes, we did. Creepy tree cards actually have a purpose in this game outside of just being collectibles. They are actually used in battles. So, for the Fruit Flakes Muta Muta Minion, uh, uh, so you can... Wait, what? Oh, that's just switching books. Uh, let's switch over to... Hmm. Oh, no, wait, that's not until later. But yeah, Creepy Tree Cards, just remember these because they actually are important in battles. So for now, we got a lot of cards to do. I don't remember if there's actually something you get for collecting them all, like in Costume Quest 1, Future Me, throw it up if there is. Watch it, chum. All right. Trick or treat. Did you just think candy corn looked like a squirrel? Do, do you need my glasses? D do you need contacts, ma'am? Because I think those teeth are obscuring your vision because they're so big. I feel like the trees are looking at me. Now, if memory serves me right, this is actually a reference to... Ugh, damn it, it's, it's the recent Double Fine game that, that was like the big Kickstarter, I'm pretty sure. Uh, just have Future Me throw it up. But yeah, it's actually a reference to it. You found me! I'm playing hide-and-seek with my friends. Want to play? If you find all six of us, you get a prize. And of course, it wouldn't be Costume Quest without hide the, of course, hide-and-seek games. So find all six kids in the bayou. And something tells me that this game takes place in Georgia. I don't know. The, Georgia or Florida? And hopefully it's Georgia, because God knows you don't want to be in Florida. Not even people in Florida want to be in Florida. Something tells me, yep, this is the other way out. I do not want to go this way. I want to go this way, and I'm going to trick-or-treat at some of these houses. Trick-or-treat! I... Do not interfere. I do inf interfere, thing. the most amazing thing ever to happen. That was probably the most powerful transformation ever. Candy corn does what it can. And that a thing is nothing. Now I might be at a bit of it. Okay, yeah, creepy tree cards just can be used here to select. So we got frosted flakes. We mute a man's magic attack, which well, that middle one's the strongest of the three. So. And since the clown costume is not that strong against these guys, I think this is a, probably a good bet to hold off on that middle one, because it's going to take a while to take out. Monty's almost got a super ray, so hopefully we can take that thing out beforehand. And of course, they're focusing on candy corn. Very good. I messed up on the block and that wow that did a lot of damage to Monty. Alright, basic attack. Who do we want to take focus on? I guess focus on just one and just take it out in general. And also my controller's messing up, I'm gonna have to fix that in between videos. Got another nice. Sadly the damage reduction because we're weak against those things. You know what? We'll hit it with the Sweet Justice. We'll hit the middle one because that's going to do a lot of damage to it. Bam! Knocked out the first one. Splash damage. Got the third one. And since the means attack has been muted, does less damage to Candy Corn. Very good. 
Or, no, Candy Corn is strong against these guys. That's why they're doing most attack. I think it, that the Creepy Chick card only affected a certain enemy that has, like, special abilities. We'll focus on you so we can take you both out at the same time. We'll just flop, flip flop with the clown and the superhero. Where's their poke? It? They're really angry at Candy Corn, apparently. Candy Corn raises its. Something or other. I don't know what the hell that was supposed to be. And we could use our super ability, but I want to save it for later. So we're going to use our bounce attack on this guy. Very nice. And superhero, finish off the last one. There we go. Oh god, that horn's going to be in my nightmares tonight. I need to wet my whistle. Well, I think we should wet our whistle a bit. When we wet our whistle, I think it's also a good time to end things off. I mean, we get we met a new party member, we got a new costume, we got some trick-or-treating done, we also got some exploration and some battles filled out. So, next time on Costume Quest, I think we're going to be doing a bit more trick-or-treating around here and then hopefully head up north a bit and see what's up there. So for now, I will see you guys next time. Later!